guys welcome back to our channel so today I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me to Cooper's physical therapy and then he also is getting fitted for a helmet And I'll explain more on that later. So yeah, here's Cooper. We're gonna get dressed and leave in about 10 minutes. Huh. Outfit of the day. Okay. Actually, I lied. I'm going to wear this. A t-shirt, you know, because we live in Arizona and um, it's hot. It's like seven, going to be 72 today. So, yeah. Okay, now Cooper is all ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. You ready to go? You ready? Ah! <laughs> yeah. Ah, boo. Ah, boo. Diva. You ready to go? Hi guys. So now we're leaving to go to Cooper's appointment and we'll see you when we get there. Okay, so we finally made it to Cooper's doctor's. Why do I say finally? It only took like six minutes, but yeah, so now he's just gonna go do some exercises to work out his neck and then I'll talk to you guys after. Okay, so we just got back from Cooper's physical therapy. That went good. He's sleeping right now, so. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about why um, he has to go to physical therapy and then he may possibly be getting a helmet. Okay, so back to what I was saying about how Cooper might have to get a helmet. So, the reason why is because when he was in my belly, um, conjunctive torticollis, I'm pretty sure it's how you say it, and so that is basically where one side of his neck was like this the whole time, and so because of that, he has favored to like lay like that, and we didn't even notice it, and then when he was about at his, I think, two month appointment the doctor noticed one side of his head was flatter because he favors you know to look one way which made one side flatter and then one side more round and so we started going to physical therapy to like do some things to loosen up that part of his neck and then um also just like um exercises to like round out his head and i mean it's worked sort of like his head isn't like flat but it's not like perfect either and we don't want him to have a funny looking head <laughs> so today um, we're going to get some like 3D scans and I think just like um, a specialist to like look at his head and see the severity of it and then we're gonna go from there and see if he does need a helmet or see what other things we can do and just basically learn about that whole process so yeah hi look who decided to wake <laughs> up look who decided to wake up you want to get out and eat okay what's up everyone so it's actually a few days later from my last clip um i think that was friday and today is tuesday so um back to what i was saying about his helmet and his head and all that 
So you saw us go to physical therapy and then we came home. And I think the last thing was maybe me saying that we were gonna go to his um, helmet evaluation. And so we went to that. And so it turns out that he does have to get one and he'll probably be getting one within the next two weeks and he'll be wearing it for about where's my cat and he'll be wearing it for about um eight to ten weeks once he gets it and so I'm gonna insert some clips of like the pictures that they took of his head and some funny pictures too of like him head and some funny pictures too of like him uh getting the scans and everything and then um, I'm going to show you guys what a normal baby's head is supposed to look like and then what his is. And I think it's called plagiocephaly. And it's just like one side is flatter than the other. And so it's making his ears like a little bit um, like not aligned. And um, yeah, so the helmet, he has to wear it. 23 hours a day we only get to take it off for cleaning it and when he gets bath time and then the rest of the time it's on so I'm sure that's going to be quite an adjustment for him because he does not like when people touch his head especially at physical therapy they have to like do the stretch where they pull his shoulder down and then move his head and he does not like that so the helmet that he's getting is called the doc band that's the brand I'm not I'm not sure if there's um any other brands but here's um, our paperwork so his is moderate to severe but more likely moderate because we caught it early and we started taking him to physical therapy which has helped round it out but just not good enough um, yeah so not only does it it's making one side flat it's making his forehead just go out a tiny bit so he's like Totally lopsided with all his whole head. You can hear him in the background. Um, he's trying to fall asleep for a nap and it's not working out very well. But yeah, here's the cute little baby who has it. And they gave us this calendar. You can like, there's um, so many different designs you can do. You can personalize it any way you want. So it'll actually end up being pretty cute. Um, the helmet only weighs about six ounces, so it won't be like heavy or anything on his head. And anything else you want to know down below, and um, if you know someone who's had to go through this, let me know because I actually personally haven't met any kids who have had to wear a helmet, and at first I thought it was pretty weird, but basically it's like when you fix your teeth, it's like braces, but for their head. So, yeah anything to make him have a perfect head um thanks for watching and i'm going to be doing like updates on it so i'll be showing you guys when he does get it and how it's going and taking you guys to his appointments um so stay tuned for those videos and thanks for watching bye guys